Richie, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? Great. Now, listen, um, yeah, here we are at Fridays. Uh, I, even, though, even though when I'm in town, a lot of times I'm not really in town because I'm always busy doing things, and it's yeah. hard catching up with some of my buddies, but we were out to eat, and you started talking about your wedding photography and how you actually got started. Absolutely. Right? Now, obviously, in the very beginning, everything didn't go 100% according to plan. Rough, and you were just trying to get the get the moment it was just hard okay, so you know with experience and and having someone that's not there teaching you to do it it's it's difficult so we had to go in try and get the shot and make the bride happy or help her to be happy capture those moments and just you go from there. Go now from there. you and your wife together you're a team yes. um, you came up with some tried and true uh, posing and shot list, so to speak, that you go for. Walk us through that. Absolutely. So the day of the wedding is a stressful day. It's not only stressful for the bride and the groom, it's also stressful for the photographers, the DJs. Everybody has to try and make this day perfect for the bride. So as we're going through our day, we talk about it. My wife and I, Iris, we, we talk about it. And it's, as the bride is getting ready on her special day, we want to make sure we capture those moments. So we make sure we set her up in a spot where the light is right. In the beginning, we didn't know to do that. Now, we, we, we set her up so that when we're photographing her, the images come out amazing right. because yeah, of light. Let's look at some of those. So, um, when you're talking about setting the shot up, yep. let's see. So, right here, we'll talk about her in front of a window so that she can get beautiful window light coming in while her um, bridesmaids are getting her ready. I love how you're shooting, shooting over the bride. To, so we're focusing over the bride and so that we can see the maid of honor or the sister or their mom get her getting ready. Sweet, all right. And then what's your next shot that you do? So that's one of your shots for the getting ready. What else yep. do you do for the getting what ready? What we do is we also, we also try and get the, the girls together and we want to do either a toast or we want to do something where everybody is around the bride. Today's the bride's day. We want to make the bride feel, feel special. So we want to bring them in and have them just enjoy the time. You have a third one for the getting ready. What do you like? Um, third one is when the bride has her dress on and we're doing the final touches, what we do is we have one of the bridesmaids do one part of her dress of her getting ready and her maid of honor either putting on her veil or putting on her last pieces of jewelry and so we want to make sure we capture that so that way the bride when she's going through her pictures is just like oh I remember that time I do oh I, I love that so that's what we want to do great all right so now we just got done doing the the preparation yes now the next step is what the actual ceremony or? ceremony yes and what are you trying to capture during the ceremony during the ceremony we want to make sure that we get Togetherness, that when they're connecting with each other, the way she's looking at him, the way he's responding to her, just them holding hands, you know, when they're putting the ring on, how you can tell they're nervous, but they're still just really in the moment and just enjoying it. And so we're trying to get that for them. That's what we want to do. All right, so now the wedding is over. Yes. Now it's on to the reception, or actually before the reception, don't you do the... We do formals. Formals. Yep. So with the formals, what are some of the shots you really like to get? We, we want to make sure that they have their money shot, okay? And we, we set them up together, and we want to have that connection with both of them looking at the camera, but also where he's touching her and she's touching him. So that connection is still there. Then we have them talk to each other. We have them um, just respond to each other and just like if they were talking normal and we'll capture some shots like that and then we more start more candid shots on those ends. absolutely you talk about a v shot yes the the v shot is um pretty much where you have your bride and your groom and he's holding her from behind and she wraps her arm around him and they connect where she can put his her hand on his chest and he's actually holding her all right so that's one of your shots what's another shot uh, another one of our shot? shots is I love to see the bride interacting with the groom. So with that shot, we have the groom turn his head away and we'll have her come in with her bouquet and her arm around him and kissing him on his neck or whispering something in his ear. And we're, we're focusing on just on her. 
calls for and a lot of times that causes a reaction too, right? Oh, absolutely. I'm sure they whisper yeah. interesting things to oh, each other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely awesome. Great. All right, so then another shot. So once once you get done with the formals, yes. then the ceremony itself comes in. Is that where you get to relax a little bit more? And absolutely not. not. That's when we, we want to capture those amazing moments when they're doing their first dance, when they're doing, when they're entering and they're putting on the show like, hey guys, this is us and we're being introduced and so we want everybody to know that that's what's going on and we want those pictures to reflect the same thing. Great, that's awesome. Well, hey, Richard, thanks so much for taking time out of your schedule. All right. Um, our food's about to come, so. That's a hit, hungry. This, this is how we usually do a lot of our brainstorming sessions or we connect back and forth. Absolutely. Uh, we yeah. have to eat, so we sit down and we discuss it. I thought this should be a great special story from the set because we kind of kill two birds with uh, one stone. Absolutely. We get to eat, we get to look at great photos, and we get great advice. That's it. Well, Thank thanks you. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Well, I'm Benelli with Photo Focus. Thanks for watching. All right.